Thank you. Sir. No, not. Yes, sir. Call you. the police then. Don't touch the petitions. Okay, sir. You're you're okay. You're stealing the petition. No. Okay, guys. Check out this guy's channel. I'll put the link to it in the description. He does very good work on dealing with law enforcement. He does petitions. He does all sorts of things. So it's your right to film the police. They don't like it when you exercise your first amendment rights to petition your government. I don't understand why they act like this when all they have to do is just let the guy be. These people try to steal his stuff because they didn't like what he was doing. And it's very unfortunate that this occurred, unfortunately. So it's important that you know your rights while dealing with law enforcement in the United States. Always film the police because it is your right to do so. You gotta understand, you cannot trust these cops. I repeat, you cannot trust these cops. Check out the community tab at 3 p.m. Central Time. I just shared something on there. So go ahead and check out that video. You might like it, you might not. And here's the thing. When you're dealing with law enforcement in the United States, it's important that you always film the police, okay? All original links are in the description. Tell him Omaha sent you. Remember, Filming the police is your right, and I recommend that you do it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'm out, guys. Peace. Bye bye now. So why in my mind, in my logical mind, the less they, it is owned by the city, but it is private property, and not, they they can determine who they want on their property no, and who they, they don't want on their form. Okay. And in my in my mind, in my logical mind. The Supreme Court already ruled that the police have the right to lie to you. So why would you trust the cops when they have the absolute immunity to lie? Think about that for a second. Get back to the video. It's a big deal. Because when such it's a simple a, always a big deal because I've been run off from the bus stop, from the Pierce County Transit. I've been run off here now, and I just don't want to do that. I mean, we're just having you move to the sidewalk. It's the different. It's like Rosa Parks having to sit in the back of the bus. No, it is. It is. It is. We're. This is a civil right that we have here. I firmly believe that there's a constitutional right to be in this public forum. Why is it a problem to exercise your First Amendment rights in the United States? I don't understand what the issue is. That's why I always say you have to know your rights while dealing with law enforcement. Get back to the video and enjoy. This is a public forum. This is, that gentleman there is not harming anything. He, he, look at this. How is that possibly harming anything? Why can't we compromise to there? Because he was back over there and I said, well, don't be that close. Be right here. That was a compromise. He moved to the middle. It's middle ground. That's a compromise in my book. And there's no point in arguing it because ultimately... Argue. If you don't move to the sidewalk, it's not going to end well. And to me, that just it, it negates all of your efforts. All you need to do is move to the sidewalk. What, you can collect. Are you sure it's, it's not going to end well for one of us, perhaps? Well, yeah, unfortunately. You don't know which and, one. And I just do think you? that's silly. I you just don't know which one, ma'am. I know you're you're, you're just, fine, officer, but it, it this, just seems this, like it's it's just not logical thinking. No, this it's logical to me because I think I know the rules on this stuff. You know, I don't think I'm on left field on this. You know, I think I'm in solid footing. I think he violated his rights by making him move, honestly. And I, I'm getting really tired of having police officers violate people's rights on about petitioning. This is core political speech. This has the most protection. This is this is core political speech. This is a public forum. We have people walk through here. It's. You don't need a, a, a license here in a nice area open to the sun. Got a nice flag, the town, the clock. I mean, what's the problem? I mean, is he really harming anyone there? I mean, what's his harm? Ma'am, is there a harm that he's harming? The harm is, yeah, this is this is a private, it is owned by the city, but it is private property. And not, they, they can determine who they want on their property. Grab those tables and moved off with them. Because because they're on private property. It's not Again, private. We, How is we're this gonna, private? We can go and talk in circles round and this round This is going to be great on audit the audit. Well, and that's fine, but. I mean, this is going to be awesome. All we're asking is you move. Are you asking us to, to relinquish to our sidewalk. rights? No. So if I relinquish my rights, I'm okay. 
So if I step over here, then I relinquish my rights and I'm good. Just to the sidewalk. So this you man that fought for our rights is a veteran. We're trying to, you're trying to violate our rights that you fought for, sir. That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to violate the rights that that gentleman fought for. That's what you're doing. Just simply, just simply move. Just simply, just simply do the violate your rights, and simply do that, and we'll be just good. Just simply relinquish your rights under threat of arrest, and we're good. Okay, I understand how that works. If that's what you want, to threaten me with arrest if we don't leave this petitioning spot. And he's really causing a lot of harm there. Really. It's terrible, isn't it? You know, I talked to uh, a lieutenant, and he wouldn't even move people off of Costco. And I said, you got to move them off of Costco because of the rulings. He wouldn't even move them off of Costco. You know, and that is private property. This is a quintess. One thing is, when you're doing a first moment audit, right, or you're exercising your rights and you're filming, always make sure that your equipment is still working. I've had times where I didn't check it periodically, and I regretted that decision. So always check to see if your camera's still recording because sometimes it may turn off by itself. Back to the video. Yeah, so before I, I mean, really, I, I can't, with the sun in my, I got to have the sun this way or else I don't get very good pictures. That's okay. I'm not trying to flank you guys or nothing, okay? No, or not. Yes, sir. Sure. Call you. the police then. Don't touch the petitions. Okay, sir. You're you're okay. You're stealing the petition. No. Because we have the right to be at this public forum. If they want to fight it in court, man, this would be a great one to fight. I'll call and talk on the sidewalk if that makes anything any better. Are you, you worry about getting no, uh, no, trespassed? You can, you can stay here. I've just seen. It. Okay. Well, let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead. You get your signature? How about you guys? Get your signature. Uh, probably. They're not going to do shit. They're, they talk to their legal advisor. They're, they're not worried about yes. doing like I'm a sorry, criminal offense. And like I said, don't want to take you to jail. Don't want to do anything <laughs> yeah. like that. Yeah. Right? Which we've already established. Right. But the Tacoma Dome here, the staff here, do not want you on the property. They've made that abundantly clear. Whether you want to argue, understood. Yeah, yeah. But there is a dynamic as well that they don't want you here. Yeah, correct? Turn this way so see yes the sun no. in the... Yeah, they don't want me here. But okay. there's a lot so of things do I don't want. Right. Trust. Trust me. This isn't <laughs> what I want to be doing right now either. I got 101 things on my plate right now. I know you guys get a hard, tough okay. time. Uh, oh, oh, you think I get a tough time? No, no, right? I know you get a tough oh, time. Oh, no, I have no, nobody ever gives me a tough time. No, no, time, right? I'm not giving you a tough time. I don't think I'm giving you a tough time. I think oh, I'm you're not you guys, giving me a tough time. I think you guys have a tough job. Oh, okay. And, you know? and you're not making my job tough today either. I'm not trying to. They are. You're not trying to. They're okay. the ones that call. Oh, so they don't have any choice either. They're not, you're not, you're just supposed to give them a tough time. You're a good guy. You're, You're killing me here. You're a good guy. Okay? So what's it going to be? They don't want you here. You want to be here. Yeah. Right? I don't want to take you to jail. Yeah. Okay? But I do need to document that this is occurring. Okay. Right? Okay. Yes or no? Okay. Yeah. Enough my information there. I don't. I need That's your name. I need to identify birth. myself. Then I can identify you. I, I, am I being... Wait a second. Okay. I'll give you enough name. You can arrest me if I don't give you any more identification. Depends on if it's a good name, I guess, but I don't really have enough. It's a good name. How do I didn't lie my that? name. How do, how do, do you know that? if I just tell you my name anyway? I don't even have a... What, how do you know if my name anyway? I don't. So I give that, you my name. My, I've identified my myself. Point here. But I don't even know if I have right? to under White versus you, Washington. You also could say it's Mickey Mouse that's your name, right? You I could, could say, say I'm not lying things. because I'd be against a lot of give a false ID. I know that much. I don't know if I really need to give an ID. Here's the thing, you do not have to identify yourself if you've done nothing wrong. In this in this scenario, he hasn't done anything wrong. They're just bullying him because they want him to stop. That's all it is. They want him to stop exercising his first member rights. Get back to the video. Unless I'm being accused of a crime. So you want to run me to see if you got a warrant? Ain't no warrant for me. 
<laughs> no, sir. Right? Well, you looked at your. You looked and at your. I am going to run you on records, right? Because I still have to write a report. I Whether understand. you want to give me a bad time or not. Whether you want to make. I'm not my, giving you a bad what, time. Yes, you are. Oh, I'm not. I'm think okay. I'm being what? particularly nice. I am here trying to do my job, right? Yeah. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Because some people here don't want petition gathering on their property. They're fine with it 20 feet away on the sidewalk. Oh, that's great because that's okay. not their property. So regardless, fine with that. regardless <laughs> I'm being asked to document the incident. Ask you for your name, 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 but that is not a full name, right? I can't properly identify you. It's so a yes, full name. I do need to do a little follow-up, due diligence on my part. Okay, it's a are. full name. Back at the exhibition hall, we got the uh, police policy. And uh, it's pretty clear. Tacoma Police Policy, legal directive, public property individual may freely make use of public property in order to gather signatures for initiatives. This includes the post office, public sidewalks, courthouses, and other public structures. They may set up card tables and freely make use of the public area. If card tables or other structures are blocking the area, they may be removed, may be moved, but the activity of collecting signatures may continue. And then I called the legal advice. We're just we're, we're right over here. Yeah, you can't be here. Okay? Oh, why is that? It's public property. No, it's not. It's private property owned by the city of Tacoma. The well, sidewalk it's public, public property. property. No, it's not, sir. You're Call the police, sir. I'll have him come out here again if you want. <laughs> That's fine. He's already moved him. Call the police, please. Sir. Don't is, interfere with our right. This, I, I'm not, I'm not taking sides, but this is private property because it's city. owned, it's owned it's by the city. It's a private entity, Tacoma, sir. You are wrong. We shake head all you by want. the city of Tacoma. Yeah, I understand that. It yeah. doesn't make it public. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. Wait, oh, it's owned by the city of Tacoma and it's not public? No, no that's no. not how it works. What? No, it's it's owned by the city of Tacoma it's public. No, no, no it's, it's not. not. That's not, not how it works. It's, it's, yes, it is, sir. I've been doing this for years. I know how this so works. So, wait. You've lived here for years? Uh, what? So, do you want me to move it? I said I've been doing this for years. So, I've been here a long time. Do you want, are you going to move it or do you want me to do it? Well, You're not going to touch that table. Touching it right now. If you move that table, you're going to be arrested. Okay. Well, we're going to move just, it. Are you not? You're harassing the petitioner. No. I'm going to call 911. You go right ahead. You need no, to get out. No. Yes, sir. They call the police then. Don't touch the petitions. Okay, sir. You're, you're, okay. You're stealing the petition. No. Eight dot forty six zero two. You touch that. Yeah. And that's it, brother. Sir. You're trespassing. You touch that and, and you're, you're trespassing. having it. You are trespassing. You, I am not trespassing. You are trespassing. Do not touch my, do not touch his stuff. Then move it. Yes, well, don't touch those petitions. I'm not you have no the right petition. to touch. Touching the table, you touch, not... You're admitting it now. Uh, you're On right. tape, you're admitting that you're touching the table. And that... I... I hope you guys enjoyed that video as I do my best to add additional commentary and narration. Go to this guy's channel. I'll put the link to it in the description. Remember, it is your right to film the police. Okay, and also check out the community tab at 3 p.m. Central Time. I do my best to add uh, new videos to there. Go to this guy's channel. I'll put the link to it in the description. If you haven't done it yet, consider liking, subscribing, and sharing. I repeat, consider liking, subscribing, and sharing. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And remember... You got to know your rights. So I'm going to give my final thoughts and commentary for this particular video. If you do not want to hear it, leave now because this is the end of the video. So this guy was in the right. This guy was in the right and these cops were wrong. And it's unfortunate that they don't respect the Constitution. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, the police cannot be trusted. These guys have the ability to ruin your life. Literally. I've been falsely accused by police officers in the past, sat in jail for months for things I didn't do. And other people have too. So you have to know your rights. I mean, this is why I always say film law enforcement in the United States, always film the police. You cannot trust these guys. Sorry, man. If you want to trust the police, that's on you. But I don't trust them. And I don't think I ever will get them, unfortunately. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video as I do my best to add additional commentary and narration throughout the video while, added, while trying to add a balance to the videos. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'm out guys. Peace out and bye bye now.